Hey, what's up YouTube? Uh, welcome to Saber's Lair and thank you for tuning in to my channel. Um, I wanted to provide an update on the M4 style AR-15 build that I was uh, doing. I posted a video on uh, April 29th and then just kind of disappeared. Life has been pretty hectic as of late with uh, school coming to a close for me and uh, work, my business, and my homesteading. Um, so I haven't had a chance to post any videos because I've pretty much been busy around the clock, um, for about the last month. So, um, uh, I posted the video April 29th, I believe, um, and I actually finished the rifle that weekend. Uh, it took me about another week, uh, to go, uh, shoot it. Um, and I've shot it twice since then and put about 220 rounds through it. Um, pretty much shoots great. Did have an issue with a failure to extract. Um, and then the, the next cartridge got lodged in behind the empty casing. And so we had to take that out. Um, uh, I not sure that there was I was shooting we were shooting steel cased ammo herders um, steel cased ammo um, I'm not sure if it was the ammo um, or a malfunction with the firearm I really think it was because my brother failed to seat the cartridges and the magazine correctly um, and uh, we got it out of there and I fired uh, um, I don't know something I want to say 70 shots after that and uh, we didn't have any issues after that um, a couple things um, one of the reasons I've also avoided putting up a video just yet is because I've actually been doing upgrades on the firearm since I finished it um, there are a few things on here that weren't in the original video and uh, I'm gonna go over what some of those are but but first I just kinda wanna do a quick uh, review about the firearm I've already told you how it shot um, the front sight uh, I've had a heck of a time trying to get that adjusted I just got in a, a front sight adjustment tool to get it where I need it um, so I'm anxiously awaiting uh, taking it shooting sometime this week um, whenever I can carve out a little time to do so um, to get that adjusted um, so the, the kit actually comes with an A2 uh, flash hider um, the barrel there is a 16 inch barrel with the M4 contour and it's made out of 4140 chrome molly steel um, and it has a 1 in 9 inch twist um, the firearm has M4 feed ramps and of course you can see the A2 st uh, style fixed front sight and the detachable carry handle there uh, with the windage and elevation settings um, those are all part of the kit and uh, this is uh, chambered in the 5.56 by 45 NATO um, I talked in the other in the original video about some of the things I had already uh, purchased to upgrade, which was the um, Magpul uh, MOE Plus grip. It's the rubber grip. I actually like the way it feels. Um, I did change out the kit trigger guard for a Magpul MOE trigger guard, and I did put the uh, Magpul uh, battery assist device. Or bad lever if you prefer um, after I did the video and after I put the firearm together I decided that I wanted a Magpul uh, MS3 sling so I changed out the original um, sling plate that came with the kit for the ASAP sling plate from Magpul so that was one of the changes that I did um, from the kit. Um, the other thing that I did, um, and I just did this yesterday, um, I ordered uh, Mission First Tactical uh, M33 handguard. 
um, and in a second I'll show you uh, what's cool about it. Um, it the kit originally came with the DPMS Glacier Guard handguards and after doing some research I discovered that the way they were made the holes are off a little bit so you can't really mount a rail to the handguards um, and I wanted to keep the M4 style look of the handguard so I did some searching and found this from Mission First Tactical and what's really cool about it is that um, these this has a top uh, Picatinny rail and a bottom Picatinny rail and they're integrated into the handguard and I'm gonna go around the table here and show you that they come with rubber grips um, and I got I thought they were fairly inexpensive compared to most handguards and so I got them. Um, I still think that the original ones look a little bit cooler, but I like the option of being able to mount accessories to the handguard should I choose to. Um, let me go around the table here and show you how uh, the rubber handguard covers come off. So there's the rubber handguard grip, or cover, sorry, um, and it covers the rails, and then you just kind of pop it on there, just like that. <coughs> of course the um, bottom rail isn't completely covered, and uh, I will uh, probably be getting some covers for that. Um, the other thing I added was a GPS O2 uh, grip pod um, device. Um, my research says that this is the uh, grip that is uh, being issued to our servicemen and I really like the idea that um, I could have a grip and a bipod together. Um, it's a spring-loaded uh, grip or excuse me bipod um, and the grip actually feels pretty good um, there's a little button right here and I'll uh, demonstrate that for you hopefully I'm not taking this off camera and there it is Um, and then some of the other things you see right there are things that I haven't uh, attached yet. Um, this is a Maytech uh, rear aperture that I scored for a pretty good price compared to what I've seen online. I got it off of eBay. Um, over to the right. Just turn this a little bit and do a little zoom action here. Um, here you can't see it because it's in the box, but I have a, a NC Star AR riser with a quick re quick release weaver mount. This is a Barska 210 uh, lumen um, flashlight or tactical light if you prefer. Let's see here. It's got a couple of cool settings. That's the brightness. Oops, I turned it off. If you press it lightly. Okay, I'm not working it right. Uh, figures, huh? Okay, it ha I'm not getting it to work right now, but it does work because I ran it for a little while. Anyway, it's got uh, three brightness settings, a strobe light, and an SOS indicator on it. Um, and then in the back there. 
This is a, a Barska uh, 4 by 30 millimeter IR multi rail electroscope. Um, the reason I got this is because I want to mount something like a loophole delta point or a uh, Burris Fast Fire 3 on here. Um, however, the reason why these aren't on there is because of the size of the scope and how much it weighs the gun down. I have not decided if I'm going to keep the scope. I may actually sell it um, and get something smaller, provided that it has the rails here, because that's one of the features I really like. It's a really cool scope. Um, it has five different um, brightness settings and two sets of colors. You can change your uh, mill dot reticle to um, red or green. Anyway, um, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do actually is sight in, and I'm sorry for the shaking, I'm trying to back this up. I'm gonna try to sight in the rifle uh, with the iron sights first and kind of learn how to shoot that way. Um, and then I'm gonna try out the scope and, uh, and see how that goes, see how much it weighs it down. Um, so far I'm really pleased with it. I'm really pleased with myself for putting it together. Um, other things that are not here. Um, I have two Magpul uh, P-Mags, the 30 rounders, and two um, 20 rounders. Um, I'm going to order the new buffer spring from David Tubbs. Possibly the... Uh, ejector spring and the uh, um, extractor spring set from David Tubbs also. Um, if you haven't checked these out you can go on the Armory channel or eBomi's channel and or you can go to the David Tubbs website and you can check them out. Um, they're flat springs uh, for the buffer um, and they're supposed to uh, provide a lot more strength and they're supposed to last the lifetime of the gun so I'm um, certainly willing to give that a shot and then the other thing I'm gonna order is a Bravo company um, gunfighter charging handle um, and I think that'll really kind of make this thing uh, fly and between all those and, and souped up and um, at some point like I said I want to get a, either a Delta point um, from Leupold uh, for a red dot or a Burris uh, Fast Fire 3 um, but that's probably a couple months down the road because I'll have to save up for those so anyway that's my update and uh, I hope you enjoyed the video um, if you've never built one of these things I encourage you to do it it's a fun process um, and there's something to be said about building your own your own AR as opposed to going out and buying one they're not that difficult to do um, it took me a couple days because I had other things going on um, and I wanted to make sure that I got everything right um, so I had uh, I had my firearm checked out a couple times before I <laughs> I fired it by people who knew what they were talking about um, anyway um, Maybe I'll do a range video uh, after I get everything uh, except for the uh, red dot on there and uh, and post that. Until then, thank you for tuning in for my, to my channel. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope that uh, you'll subscribe and uh, um, I hope to show you more videos about all the stuff that I'm into. Uh, until then, thanks.